first game 12-10 and then the All England semi-final this year she won 11-5 both occasions this young lady Sir Wenda Kusuma Wardani from Jakarta came back to take the second game I think the important thing for Sir Wenda in that first set was that 8-2 uh, down it looks as if Tang could run away with it quickly and that's the last thing she wanted as those records indicate having made her work very hard in that first set I think she won't feel too unconfident now about being able to take the second set and the longer the match goes on more money will be put on for Wenda to win it Mark you great clear right at the start of the second game by Tang Ju Hong right on the line Sawenda so now hitting with the drift behind her, which is a more difficult end to control the shuttle from. So Tang with the first set and with the advantage of end. There we see the effect of the drift. It takes players sometimes one or two shots to adjust. Of course, lady singles just up to 11. Can't afford too many mistakes. Yep, she's done it again. Four love up now, Tang. So I wonder under a lot of pressure. Fast start from the Chinese girl. Great net shot. Tumbled it so that it spans. Face over feathers as it comes over. Very hard to return with any control. All the confidence leaving Sawenda now. Yeah, she looks a little bit nonplussed. Nothing going her way at the moment. Unforced error after unforced error. Hang in full flow. So when is going to tell down anything to try to break the rhythm, just to literally break the rhythm. They've only been playing for about two and a half, three minutes in the second game. Score seven love. Awenda changes the racket. Um, umpire Sue Smallwood trying to get her back onto court. The laws say play shall be continuous. And Tang Ju Hong not waiting any time at all. Oh, now that was a wild one. Maybe trying to move the pace of the game on even too much. So, the young Indonesian with it all to do. Love 7 in the second game, having lost the first 6 11. That's a super shot. Very, very deceptive. Tang flicking a wrist, pulling the shuttle cross court. For a complete winner. And very good pictures of it, too. Play by Tang. She must just be patient now. She's got the initiative. She's seven, eight love up now in the second. She mustn't go for it too quickly. But she is varying her play quite beautifully, using all the angles. It's a very impressive performance. There's that cross court again. Hit the tape this time.
So, she's off the mark in this second game. Change of pace there from Tang. Comes in swiftly, threatens a powerful kill, and at last moment just dabs it into the gap. And even the athletic Sarwenda couldn't get close to that one. Eight one. Players have changed the shuttle. Sarwenda. I think would like to have it tested, which is not able to do. Shuttles were tested earlier on. And tested by one of the players playing in these finals, so no favouritism either way. Angle and a drop shot one way, hard smash the other, takes her to match point. 10 1, Tang Ju Hong leads, and serves for the world title. And it's gone. Well under half an hour, Tang Ju Hong of China takes the lady singles against Sarwenda Kusuma Wadani of Indonesia. 11-6, 11-1. Tight drop shot in this last rally, clear from Sarwenda. Chinese girl is going to keep the rally going, forces the error. Last clear well out, and that takes the title to China. We'll see it again from a different angle. Steve, that's the clear up in the air. It was quite short, the clear from Tang Ju Hong. So Wenda never really able to judge the drift in the second game. And you can see how pleased the Chinese girl was. We will join you again in a moment for the presentation ceremony. And Prince Frederick comes forward to do the honours for the ladies' singles. The 
three of the four girls required. Waiting for Sir Wenda to join them. Well, Shenda, late singles, 1991. The Stanguan of China. The 22-year-old from China, the Asian Games champion, becomes the world champion. And how delighted she looks. Perspiration, I'm sure, just the occasional tear. And you can see the disappointment on the face of this young lady, Sarwenda. But she'll be back. Arthur Jones saying to her he expects to see her next year in the later stages of the Olympic Games. from Korea. There she is, Miss Lee, who just lost to Sarwenda yesterday afternoon. And a smile for her flowers from the IBF president. We will join you again in a moment for the next final, which is the men's single.